Hi, welcome to another episode of uh, We Are Here. I'm in Chiligo with Brett, and Brett's going to show me... Uh, the Royal Arch Cave. The Royal Arch Cave, and hopefully there's no bats. I've got my light. Yeah. Take um, a look. There, there will be bats. Oh, there's yeah. bats. There's bats. Let's go. So, um, no bears are going to jump out in front of me. Uh, no bears, no bears. No bears. The, the, snakes? Uh, we may see snakes, but uh, it's not, not very common that we get to see snakes in the cave. Will you protect me? Uh, I'll do my best. Come on, yep. And let's uh, head on down. Right, yeah. I got it. Ooh, it's getting spooky. It's getting spooky. Hang on, is the camera still on us? It is. Ooh. Holy yeah. moly. Uh, this is limestone, so you can see this blue grey rock up here. This is yeah. our primary limestone. Uh, and that was once a coral reef that, that started off about uh, 400 million years ago. Wow. Yeah. So this was once under this ocean? Wow. Right. Do they come from all over the world? Is this like a world famous cave? Or? Uh, look, we do have visitors from all over the world uh, come through. Uh, lot, a lot of international tourists uh, on their Australian summer holidays. Wow, look at that. Where are we now, Brett? Uh, we're just about to walk into the picnic chamber. Whoa, look at this! Holy moly! Yeah. Uh, I, I guess I don't need this here. Yeah. Hey look! There's Becky and John! Hello! Hello! How's it going? What are you guys doing here? Yeah. We're lost. <laughs> we're lost. Yeah. We were wondering when some other humans were going to turn up. Well, yeah. I, I would have called ahead, but my mm. phone doesn't have service in here. Mm. So I've bumped into Becky and John and here we are. So uh, what brings you here? Oh, you know, we just came to look at the caves. This is our backyard. <laughs> This is your backyard. This is the actual, well, they call it the picnic area. You didn't bring any sandwiches, did you? Sadly, no. Oh. Not, not for you, just for me. Goodness me, wow. <laughs> and John, I, I, I take it you've been here a couple of times? Uh, yes, yes. I, I, I've been uh, studying caves now for uh, well, 40 odd years. So, John, you're, you are actually a geologist. So, tell me, how does something this gorgeous come from nature? It doesn't just appear, it, it, it happens. How does it happen? Okay, well, we start with a coral reef around about 400 odd million years ago wow. that uh, has been uplifted and deformed, folded in a concertina type manner. And then through several periods of history, the oldest of which is around about 300 million years ago, um, acid water uh, leached into the, the carbonate rock and started to develop these caves. Hey Becky, how are you uh, going? Yeah, good, thanks yourself. Oh, I'm, I'm excellent. Is this your house? I wish. This is my <laughs> cubby house from when I was younger and my uh, my mum and my granddad built it for me and my granddad also played, taught me how to play guitar. Excellent. Do you want to play me something? Yeah, sure. Oh, I'll enjoy it from over there. Okay. Go ahead. You bring a little sunshine, you bring a little rain You bring a little joy and you bring a little pain But you mean the whole wide world to me My girl And you hold me together but you drive me insane You know I'm a fool So I'm here with Beck and I'm uh, a little bit confused Beck, where are you taking me? To one of my favourite spots in Chile. Come on, I'll show you Good idea Excellent. Should I be scared? Yes. Oh, thank you. Couple steps. Well, okay. Are we gonna make it? We're gonna make it. I've made it. Here I am. We are here at the Balancing Rock. Not quite as big as Air's Rock, but uh, it's a. So you like this place, huh? I do. It's it one of my favourites. So this is a what is it a reef breccia? Is that how, how I say it? Reef breccia. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> what happens? How does that form? Did you like no one carved that? That happened. How, how did that happen? And these are uh, fingerprint effects are uh, caused by organic acid. So we are here at the smelter, and I'm here with John. John, tell us a little bit about the uh, smelter. Okay, well, uh, copper was found in this district in 1883 um, right. by a, a, a team of prospectors who, who were alerted to the fact by a wandering grazier. Eventually, one particular company was started off, the Chiligo Smelting Company, who decided to build a central smelter here in Chiligo because there was permanent water and a good spot for a town. And, uh, and so they built a smelter, which was opened in 1901 and a railway from Mariba, a private railway, was built. Yep. 
and uh, and so ore from all around the district was trucked or brought in by camels or steam engines and rail into this central smelting area. Uh, so they mined it and then melted yes. it down here. And 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 this lasted through to um, eventually closed down in 1943. So we are here at Chiligo State School and I'm here with Beck. Beck, she went to school here, didn't you? I did, yes, and now there's only 22 kids at the school. How many were there when you were going to school here? Uh, maybe 40. Wow. There was like five in my grade. Excellent. <laughs> nice, it's a nice day. I, I reckon we should celebrate that. What do you reckon, kids? Yeah! All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Go, 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 go! You realise, Dave, that you're not the first criminal to sit in this courtroom? Me? Yes, you. What, what, what are you talking about? But you don't have any proof. Prove it. But the cow just walked in front of me while I was driving. But it's the cow's territory. It's my road. I pay my taxes. Right, okay, fun and games aside, I had a bit of fun here, but uh, it's great that Chiligo have somehow come together and put this, all this history together in one room. And, and uh, who's responsible for that? Yes, yeah, this, this was all assembled, um, all these records and photographs, etc., by the local progress association called the Chiligo Alliance. So I'm here with Dave the Dinosaur, an actual size replica of, uh, what was it, John? Well, it's actually an, an elasmosaur. Elasmosaur. It's a, right. a, a shallow marine creature. Um, just to fill you in on the background of the geology, uh, around about 140 million years ago in the Cretaceous and Jurassic period, the sea level was about 300 metres higher globally. Right. Uh, and it, it's, the sea covered this area. And these critters swam around in the shallow seas. Uh, this, a real life fossil of that critter was found and excavated by the Queensland Museum uh, just a little to the west of Chiligo. Uh, the local uh, Progress Association, the Chiligo Alliance, decided that we'd make a replica and we had the Queensland Museum's chief uh, fossil restoration guy and curator um, build a, a model of what that critter looked like. Right, John, I noticed these big blocks that uh, the dinosaur's sitting on. I've seen them a lot around here. What, what, what is that? That's actually a much older rock than, than Dave. Uh, Dave's only 140 million years old. Uh, they're blocks of the Tiligo marble, which formed from the limestone by heating by um, igneous processes. Um, the, the marble um, is, is around about 400 to 420 million years old. Wow. So 
I'm about to leave. Thanks to Beck and John for showing me around today. Uh, thanks to the Post Office Hotel for putting us up. These lovely kids have had a great time with everyone. Meet the locals. So, uh, one, two, three. Go, go, Chili Go! I grew up in a country town where I could see the stars at night. Nothing else for miles around. Just a blue and endless sky Now I'm on a crowded street There's no more familiar face None of them will notice me No one to save me from this place But you 